Trending on Procyon Radio and Television with Sarah Agbo. I have MKO all around right here with me. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. MKO, we have trending today. Sinago Church reacts to BBC documentary on TV Joshua's alleged sexual escapade. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. We have gathered here today to discuss about the BBC Africa documentary that was released a few days ago. The church said only the BBC can best explain why it woefully deviated from true journalism and chose to be dishing junk and feeding the public with stones called bread by its offensive and disenchanted reports of disgruntled elements. This, to say the least, is insulting to our professional and public intelligence. One thing is very obvious. Hundreds of BBC carrots cannot rubbish the inedible footprints of TV Joshua's legacy on us again. Squan condemns BBC documentary. The statement suggests that the BBC could have gained a first-hand understanding of the events at the church by visiting in disguise. God saved me from spirit of death. Because before every time, I always think of death. I always dream of death. Even when I was walking, anytime I'm in, I'm in a position I have a terrible dream, they always demote me or something always happens. I've tried seven times to get married. It doesn't work out. My name is Bisola. I've acted as an enemy of God rather than a friend. I'm coming today as a prodigal daughter so that God will forgive me and the man of God will forgive me and the old church synagogue will forgive me and help me out of my human limitation. MQ Oranda. Thank you. On trending today, we're looking at uh, how BBC uh, did not balance their reports. They just took one side of the report and they didn't visit the Synagogue Church of Nation to find out what is happening. There's no serious investigation. So this one is accusing them now thank you thank you very much actually tb joshua made me to believe jesus christ i can see the replica of jesus christ in tb joshua only if you can read your bible for a while you will see what i'm saying about tb joshua when you see the tb joshua ministry you read your bible exactly like jesus christ that is to my opinion before i used to thought that traditional, our traditional ascestors is the real, okay. is the only the ultimate, I believe. But in the advent of seeing this particular man, T.B. Joshua, I know because I have been following T.B. Joshua ministry for over 25 years. I can proudly say the ministry is continuation of uh, Jesus Christ on earth. That's my own conviction. When T.B. Joshua was alive, he ruled the world with science and wonder in which nobody I say nobody. As a man of God. I say, but nobody. I still on head now can be compared to TB Joshua. Jesus said, if you are not against us, then you are for us. Let me say, TB Joshua is a great man of Jesus Christ. No pastor, I still maintain, no prophet, no juju man that, that alive now can be compared with uh, Prophet TB Joshua. Okay, why the allegations? Yes, and mm -hmm. let me now thank mm -hmm. the BBC documentary crew and the character used and all the people that believe the three episodes of the season film. I thank them always to the glory of Jesus Christ. We are all, all celebrating Jesus. This is about Jesus matter. The testimony of the act of Prophet T.B. Joshua is all over the world. Nobody can deny that. I am one of the testimony. That's why I can proudly say in the public that the season film that uh, the BBC Africa acted and the crew, I thank them because I know it's to the glory of God. Good thing about D.B. Joshua is that the ministry he left behind, 
is still waxing stronger with signs and wonder that that no bit of hell that can withstand it. That is how you know the original and the fake. Do you think that's that, the reason why they are fighting with yes. the squad? That is the reason why you see them pull fighting. Down. They pull it down. When Jesus Christ, that's why I always remember, we, we, what is happening to Christendom in uh, Nigeria today, uh, like I can see, is that uh, they don't, most of people that call themselves Christian, they don't read Bible. They don't read Bible. They are just going to church for what they will get from God. Everybody, the youth, everybody go to church what they can collect from God. They don't even really actually know who is that Jesus. Jesus, according to the Bible, is most persecuted man on earth then. Read your Bible very well. All, right, All what they are saying about T.B. Joshua, that they have said it to Jesus Christ. They call Jesus Christ the, the people that Jesus Christ helped. They are the one who go before they put blood to testify the people that he healed. They, they are the one that testify against him that they should crucify him. So what are we saying here? Remember, Jesus was killed by our forefathers. But the Holy Spirit still do wonders and signs today. The attack to the ministry of TB Joshua is really the attack to the Christendom. But alas, this all reigns forever and ever. All oh, is to the glory of God. So controversy must be, people must talk about it. The, the, the current pastor, the head of the ministry, is still performing signs and wonder throughout the world. When he went to Japan, Japan was too still everywhere the woman went to in the whole world they, just like the uh, the, 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 the husband. husband that is to tell you the efficacy of the holy spirit holy spirit you know they die now uh -huh. now we people they die now holy spirit you know they die so every day is alive so people must talk it's the revival in christendom god is using the bbc to do the awakening Thank you uh, for taking this angle. Thank you very much for coming to talk. Thank you for having me. I want you to like our program. Subscribe to it. Thank you. All right. Thank you for watching us. Training on Protein Radio and Television with Sarah. Keep shining like the star you are.